Oh, hey guys, it's number four, and welcome back to another Kid Connection unboxing slash toy review. If you guys want more of these in the future, along with a bunch of other ocean animal videos and stuff like that, then please smash that like button. Subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss any upload. And if you guys watch this video from start to finish, you're a part of the awesome squad. Thank you so much for all the support, guys. Can't thank you enough. Um, but really, subscribe with a notification bell turned on. So this way, you're notified when these videos pop up or any of my content pops up. That, in, in fact, that that's pretty much what the notification bell is for. But today, we're going to be looking at another shark exploration playset from Kid Connection. Now, I've already done a review of this, but there are maybe like one or two different things about this place. That, now, I'm sorry, but guys, you can't go wrong for 31 pieces for only $14.97 at Walmart. Let me tell you what, this is one hell of a deal for parents, uh, for your kids, and kids in general, because you get all these accessories for so cheap. And it's not like they're cheap plastic. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're, they could probably take a beating. Let's just put it at that. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at our other figures from the first playset that I got. Same name, Shark Exploration Playset. This time, if you guys notice the difference, you get one diver and a female researcher. This time, you get one diver and a male researcher this time. Same, you know, um, almost sort of like the same... Uh, outfit but obviously she's a female and he's a male but says shark eyes light up still lights up perfectly fine and uh make sure you stay till the end of the video because airborne is gonna see if this bad boy works in water for you guys so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and also make, make sure you support the channel by smashing the like button because i had to dump out all of my Animal Planet Kid Connection um, Ocean Animal Buckets into this big box in order to empty this this big bin out. So just letting you guys know that. So let's open this bad boy right up, right? So this is cool. You get a different researcher, and obviously you can't go wrong with researchers and scuba divers. So you know why why not pick up another playset? So let's go ahead and grab our fancy dancy scissors. Be careful. Do not um do not play with scissors. Also, before I even get into this, Jumbo Shark, aka Megalodon, shark lights up with light up eyes, big, uh, or big, or I haven't said big boat, boat with light up and sounds, two sharks, which that kind of confused me because there's three sharks, one, two, three, so that's weird, two sharks, two figures, submarine, four launching spears, and 20 play accessories, I mean for $14.99, or $14.97 guys, you can't go wrong with this, you get a submarine, boat, Two figures, three sharks, a bunch of accessories for the figures. You get a bunch of sea creatures in the background, some seaweed in the background, or coral. You also get four spears. Do not shoot the spears at anybody else or aim it at eyes. Please and thank you. Only aim it at the sharks. Or other figures. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tear this bad boy open. Wow, that was way easier than the first place that... Ways. And of course, it comes with this little direction piece for all those parents out there. Adult, you have to be an adult to remove this. I'm not an adult, but what kind of? Uh, remove the indicated screws for before playing with toys. It just makes this thing move around. That's all it does. It makes it so it can move around. Um, nothing to do with the, the the toy gun on top. It's just the where the boat makes sounds. So just letting you guys know that. So of course, there's little pieces right under here that are a pain in the butt every time. Um, I really wish, uh, hey, key connection, can you please make a submarine that is blue? We want a blue submarine. Smack the like button if you want a blue submarine, um, because that'd be pretty sick. Again, uh, so here's a submarine. Very easy to take out. No effort at all, guys. Um, again, so you can grab some fish that you're researching, or you can cut through some rocks or some coral or long grass in the middle of the ocean that obviously you need to cut through. So, pretty sick. Opens right up. Not a problem. Now, I've never really had a problem with the kid connection at all. Um, so, I mean, they're always an amazing company, and I appreciate all they do, because when you don't have a lot of money or you don't want to spend a lot of money, these toys are great, keep your kids entertained for weeks, years, and uh, they're good quality. So, here is the new male researcher, dude. 
Be very careful. You want to cut his butt. There we are. Okay. So there we are. The brand new male researcher. Now, um, the animal planet toys, they usually have the feet where the feet can move. Almost like this, uh, the diver, where the, the feet can actually move. You can see that. But the researchers do not have that. So, yep. But pretty cool. Pretty cool little fig. So let's go ahead and take this big boat out. I want to play the big boat. Oh, wait a second. Oh my goodness. Look at all this stuff in the back. Sorry. Guys, a little piece of cake. You just got to go like this and pop that out like so. It's unlocked. Bam. Pop this out like so. Bam. Done. So you just twist it on the opposite side. That's all you got to do. Come on. We want to see the figs. We want to see all the figures. And you can unscrew these. It's a really easy playset to get undone, guys. And everything's just going to fall apart. Like so. Almost got it. Almost got it. Well, that was a longer screw this time, I felt like. Probably shouldn't be doing this upside down, but it's okay. I'm not a trained pro... Well, kind of. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, keep unboxing this. Oh, no! The boat just fell out. The boat crashed. And... There's that. Go ahead and cut these. Be very careful cutting these. I don't know how... Oh, God. What is this attached to? Oh, it's attached to the little shark. Oh, I cut that piece, huh? There we go. And one more little piece. I'm pretty sure that's for the... Yep. Yeah. So that is for this. So these little pieces right here are for the other accessories, like the accessories you have to cut. And all that good stuff. There we go. Pop those out. Like that. Pop that out. Pop that out. Cool. Let's take a look at all this stuff. Son of a biscuit, I almost forgot to tell you guys, you're gonna need a screwdriver, not only for the boat, but for the two sharks and the, the scuba diver guy. So all you gotta do is unscrew these, one, two, three, bam. Um, and something different about this, the boat, is it makes different sounds. So, pretty cool, right? This little piece on the gun that you want to get out there. So, pretty cool. Gun works very well. We're going to go ahead and test that in the water as well. We got to make sure everything works, right, guys? So, guys, I'm kind of upset. I just found out that my boat is partially cracked right there. I don't know how the fudge that happened, but uh, okay. I don't know how that happened. Maybe I just, must have dropped it or something. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get these things off because they're a pain in the butt. Very simple to get off. Took me like two seconds. And now this whole thing can move. So pretty cool. All right, so pretty cool. Here's your little diver, guys. Same exact one as the other playset. But still, nonetheless, pretty sick. Same Megalodon Shark. I wish they would cover up the screw holes, but not too bad for a $14 toy. Here's the uh, Tiger Shark. This one's terrifying. This one's scary. It almost looks like a barracuda. And then uh, here's like almost. This looks like a great white compared to these other sharks, but another small little shark. Maybe it's a baby megalodon. I don't know, but pretty cool little statue-like um, fig. Here we go. We got this big giant seaweed, so you can hide them. So what this this can do is the the researcher um, the researcher can drive the boat while the scuba diver drives. And here, see if it'll fit. Look at that, perfect fit. All right, we gotta test this in the water too. We have to, right? So let's go ahead and uh, check these out. There's a, this looks like a, a sun, like a giant, uh, I forgot what they're called, not a sunfish. It's like a, uh, it's a short name, I forgot what it's called, but they're huge in real life, like huge, as big as boats, kind of huge. You got an anglerfish, octopus, sea turtle, and uh, a scary looking fish that's deep in the ocean. I completely forgot. You also got a cool little eel. So that's pretty cool, right, guys? So if you can focus on that for you. So, okay, there's that. Obviously, you have to cut them out, parents, but it'll be okay. Uh, the four missiles, make sure you cut these parts right here. 
where it kind of divides so you so you know where to cut because you don't want to cut this that's where the missile goes in so you got all these accessories right here look at all these accessories oh my god so you have like a almost like a grapple hook or like a grappling device you got a knife you got a uh, goggles uh looks like uh some sort of device to read your oxygen tank camera underwater camera harpoon gun or missile flashlight underwater flashlight you got a fan to make you go faster in the water you got a life vest obviously for the boat oxygen tanks two oxygen tanks uh, a pair of flippers and binoculars so that's really cool let's go ahead and get all these accessories cut off for you guys Woo! took me about 10 minutes for me and about you know two seconds for you guys so what I really think is cool about the uh, this place that is also if you think about it you already have a, a, a deep sea diver right he's already got all the equipment on but if you want to make your researcher go underneath the water and go into depth megalodon territory you can go ahead and do so because you can kid connection put in a bunch of accessories for your researcher so now you can put on an oxygen tank and you can customize them and put on a a, a, a bunch of a diving mask or goggles just like so you can put on flippers for the guy you know it's very cool let's see where's the other flipper so he can do double duty which is pretty awesome look at that and he's all ready to go so guys now let's go ahead and do what you've all wanted let's put all these action figures and this whole playset in water to see how well it works Woo. okay guys having to carry this big thing of water all the way from the bathroom to the kitchen was a pain but I did it for you guys now it's completely filled up with water kind of you got a big gap you don't want to make too much of a mess kids don't do this unless your parents say it's okay uh, parents warning it's a lot of back breaking work okay so first things first let's go ahead and put it's probably gonna float. Yeah, it'll float. But you're still gonna have it down. She looks pretty cool in water, right? But it will just float like that. So, I mean, still, at least you get another piece of an accessory to use. Um, not in the water, right? So, ones really want to use the water, the sharks and all that. So let's go ahead and use the shark in the water. Whoa! And he sinks. Look at that. Look how cool that looks, guys. Right? So you can swim to strap him, see what happens. Oh, he died. <laughs> That's still pretty cool, man. That's awesome, right? It looks so sick. Now let's go ahead and grab the tiger-looking barracuda shark thingy. Let's go ahead and put him in the water. Oh, he's farting like crazy. So he looks pretty cool. He floats. Oh, that's scary. He looks like he's coming up to get the boat. So I have him like this and then... Whoa! So, he looks pretty sick though, right? Pretty awesome. Oh, no, he gets the other shark. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And then... Oh, wow, and then he gets sick. Oh, no, he's going back up. There he goes. Okay. Let's have the, uh, the boat. The boat, go ahead. That's... Yeah, there we go, Kid Connection. It floats. So that's good. Have an actual boat that floats. That's pretty sick. And now, you're also going to have, with your researcher guy, you can put all this equipment in the back on the boat. And now, we obviously got to see how the launcher works, right? So let's go ahead and put one of the spears into the launching gun here. You hear that click? It's all ready to go. You can click this button if you want to. Got the little blue light on it. So now, let's say, pick this shark up, and the shark is like this. So it's it's floating on top. You can go ahead and grab your spear launcher and go. Oh wow! Hold on, I don't think I clicked. No, I didn't click it in all the way. Wow! What's going on here? Uh oh, hold on a sec, guys. I think I put it in the wrong way. So 
so it should work. Well, um, so I don't know what's going on. Let me try a different spear. Oh, man. That's so cool. Um, the only issue is my spear gun seems to not be working. Maybe because the boat is broken, but trust me, guys. Let's go ahead and put the other boat in there. How about that? Here's the other kid connection boat that I own. So let's go ahead and move this boat over here. And let's grab this little spear here and put the spear in there. Let's see how well this works now. Yeah, there we go. So you guys still can at least see it. So you still can shoot the the shark, and it's not going to matter if the boat gets wet or not. Or inside of the spear, uh, the spear harpoon gun thingy. He's running the boat over there. Let's go ahead and shoot him again. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, you got the shark, right? That looks so cool. You gotta go ahead and put the researcher guy in there, or the the diver. Here we go. Uh oh, looks he's, he looks like he's becoming full of water. So there's a little bit of air bubble in there. You can see the water right here, but that still looks pretty cool. He's gonna float. Watch, he'll float. But if you fill this up, I guarantee he's not gonna float. Put the air bubbles on. There we go. Oh wow, no, he still floats. So, but still, you're still gonna have him on the bottom like this, and you can try and grab the other sharks and. Yeah, so that's pretty sick though. Looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and grab uh, like a sea turtle or something. Go ahead and put the sea turtle in there. He kind of just floats. Look how cool he looks. Just kind of chilling. Floating around. Goes right to the top. I like when the, uh, the sea creatures float like that because it looks like they're actually swimming. So I think that's, I think that's really cool. So there we go. That's awesome. Alright guys, the moment you parents and kids all been waiting for, does the electric or, you know, Kid Connection Megalodon shark really work in water with light up eyes? We're going to find out in a second, right? Don't try this at home, guys. Unless it works. Oh my god. This bin is so small that uh, it doesn't even fit the whole shark in here. Look at this. Oh my god, that's so freaking cool. And it's safe. Completely safe. That looks awesome. That looks terrifying. And it works. Look at that. Under, underwater. It's lighting up. So, pretty freaking cool, right? So, guys, that was the Kid Connection Shark Exploration playset um, with water testing. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed recording this video. This was a lot of fun. Um, I might play with these off camera. <laughs> so, smash the like button, subscribe, and notifications turn on so you guys never miss an upload. And you guys, don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys later. Look at that. Look at the light up. That's so awesome.